So we're here at Water Farm and these three cows are being milked right now. The process begins with stripping of the udder, which clears out any residual milk that's in the teat canal that we don't want to go into the tank. By stripping the udder, or the teats, we simulate oxytocin release, which results in milk letdown, and that allows for increased milk production, pretty much. Once you strip the udder, you pre-dip each of the teats, and this kills all the bacteria on the surface of the teat. That has to stay on the teat anywhere from 30 seconds to 90 seconds, just to make sure that we get all that bacteria cleared off. After that 30 to 90 seconds has occurred, then we wipe off the pre-dip from the teat and get all of the dirt and manure and residual milk that might be on there that would potentially go into the, the tank. My name is Nicole Mayer. I am a fourth year pre-vet student at the University of Maine. I clearly love cows. That's not the only reason I'm here. It's a class offered at the University of Maine. It's called Dairy Cattle Technology, and this is the lab for it. It's really, really fun. We then put the unit on. And the unit consists of four tea cups and a claw and then the milk hoses that goes up to the unit and then attaches to all the piping that you see around the barn and then goes into the tank. It's really important not to over or under milk the cows. We test this by feeling the teat cistern, which is the little part of the teat that we can feel at the base of the teat cup. We know that they're milked out, like of the squishy feeling that you feel when there's milk in the in the teat canal or the teat cistern. Um, once you feel just skin on skin, then you can remove the unit. And immediately after you remove the unit from the udder, you have to post dip the teats. And the post dip kind of acts similarly to the pre dip. It has antibacterial properties. It also forms a barrier, so when the cow lays down, it decreases bacteria that's allowed up into the open teat canal. And that's pretty much the process, then yeah, they're milk.